Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to my Moosehead Beer green hat. Uh, the question on the floor is uh, something to do with what Dr. David R. Hawkins uh, talked about in some of his material. It was, uh, he said that some things come up for people who are going ascension. In other words, they are on the spiritual path and sometimes it would, he said it describes it as physical uncomfortablenesses of various types. So I don't know if he means sicknesses, bad eyesight, uh, but he said these things come up and they're coming up from the unconscious. Uh, it could be, I don't know if he means the collective unconsciousness of all the humans or your own personal unconscious. Anyway, that's what he said. And he said, uh, until these things come up into consciousness, they are going to cause these physical problems. Some of them can be very uncomfortable. He gave some examples. I don't know if you can find this particular lecture of Dr. Hawkins. He's got many, many lectures that are available for free on YouTube. And uh, his books are available. I don't know. It's a lot, quite a lot of reading to dig into. But if you're going to read instead of meditate, um, his books are very good. Uh, and if you haven't read them, um, put them on your reading list. Uh, so let's see. So what's coming up for me seems to be a lot of actors portraying demonics. And it's not like a small affair. It has been going on for over three years. Steady. Uh, why do I say actors? Because they are. They're acting like demonics. And they're very good actors. And when you're in the moment, uh, they are nasty. I mean, these little itches that I get from time to time, that's, that's the most minor thing that they do to me. Uh, but they are acting this way. How do I know? It's because of long-term being around them and knowing what they're like. Uh, uh, I've had to discount a lot of theories put out. Um, and I've talked about some of these theories, uh, such as the pain body of Eckhart Tolle. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's incorrect. It just means when you're dealing with these kind of beings, it's incorrect. These kind of beings choose to portray nasty demonics. And there's multiple um, personalities that come out and they are somehow acted. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get to the root of it, but if I was... Uh, Asking Dr. Hawkins, who has uh, passed on, if I was going to ask him, I would say, what the heck is going on, Dr. Hawkins, with these demonic things that, you know, behind the mask, they seem to be acting demonic. But it's going on for over three years. So what is going on in... Uh, maybe not, it's not the collective consciousness or the individual conscious of humans, but whatever these beings are. What is going on and why can't, even when I bring this to consciousness, why does it continue? And where are the so-called uh, higher enlightened beings? You know, why don't they step in and say, enough is enough? Have you had these kind of situations? Probably you've had them with humans, you know, like really unpleasant people in work environments. But what happens is either they leave or you leave or you just get used to them at your work if you keep going there and they so did they. Um, I don't know if your interactions with them change them. My interactions with the demonic actors uh, don't change them. They just result in endless videos like this on my video blog. 
about how my path is blocked by whatever the hell these beings are. Why is my path blocked? Well, because it's very repetitive, me making the same video over and over again. Over and over again, I talk about nasty demonic beings. And I see nasty demonic beings not that much, not in the physical, but I definitely get them from the non-physical. They want me to talk about more and more and more. They just like to hear me talk about them and their power over me. Unfortunately, if I don't do the video, uh, they make it very uncomfortable for me. Am I their slave? Technically, yes. So how do we outlaw slavery uh, from whatever kind of beings they are and wherever they are? And humans. Where is the cosmic law of slavery and who is going to enforce it? Are you expecting Archangel Michael to come in? Are you expecting uh, extraterrestrials that have got superpowers? Are you expecting Superman? Are you expecting God? Are you expecting the devil? Are you expecting your neighbor next door to come over with a wolf? Are you expecting... I don't know. What am I expecting? Well, after over three years of having these experience, uh, the demonics want me to believe it's going to continue forever. Uh, I keep telling them, uh, sometimes it does feel like forever, but I also keep telling them time and time again, you cannot continue to do this. And they keep doing it to prove they can. Is it a Mexican stalemate? They keep saying that life uh, for humans is basically all pre-programmed as if we are characters in a computer simulation. I keep telling them, as long as humans meditate, they can reach beyond your troublesome aspects and they don't have to play your game of everything is control, control, control. They don't really care one way or another. They keep doing their demonic things and, you know. So I don't have an answer for you why Archangel Michael doesn't come in and kick their ass. I don't know why the extraterrestrials keep putting up with it. Uh, as a human, um, I don't have powers over spirits. They keep saying, be a shaman and be a master of spirits, because somewhere in some book that somebody wrote, they, they took it. They uh, also like to use whatever your experiences are, and they keep dragging them up and, say, and sticking it in their nose, like it was a rose or something. As if, ah, this little incident happened. Don't you see? Don't you see? It's all about this. These ones are never about themselves and their enormous flaws. They like to be actors, but they are not actors. They put on a front and they say, I'm an actor playing a demon. No, they are always demonic. They are always demonic and they have so many personalities and so many bags of tricks. They are the demonics from the abyss. Why aren't the demonics in the abyss just completely deleted from existence? I don't know. I don't know. If I was in charge, would they be? Oh, fuck yeah. They would be gone, but they're still here, and I don't know why. And I haven't been able to connect to anyone like Stuart Wilde to ask him, or even when I try to contact spiritual teacher, I just tried to contact, well, through comment to another spiritual teacher, Eckerd Tolle, and when I clicked on the send button, uh, it wouldn't send. What does it mean? Is it the demonics that are doing it, or is it something else? The answer I have is I don't know. Uh, they say, do you want to ask the people at home uh, to help you? Uh, I don't believe they can. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, if I'm experiencing these experiences, then I'm not alone. The best way to proceed, moment to moment to moment, 
Is it easy to do? It is a very difficult way to live, but there is no other way to do it. In the end, what is going to happen to me? Uh, I don't know. What's going to happen to the demonics? I don't know. What's going to happen to planet Earth? I don't know. What is going to happen 10 minutes from now? I don't know. Am I going to drink some Moosehead beer? No. Uh, I have been given to stop drinking beer. Thank God. And booze. Thank God. Because I don't like it. It's been given to me to puke up. And, you know, even after I was going through pukathons, the body was still going for booze from time to time. Was it under demonic influence? I don't know. Who really runs the show on planet Earth? Is there some higher intelligence that is at work? I don't know. From my perspective, and, you know, the demonics taught, gave me a lecture about it the other day, you are basically walking around like a zombie because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what your interactions are going to be. You don't know how well you're going to feel. And all you know is that we're going to be around and we're going to be nasty. So, walking around in the devil's playground, I am Harry Weaver, your narrator.